Bates Blair, uh, Vine Hair Studio in Tampa, Florida, and what we're going to do today is teach you how to get that full today's look, that nice bouncy look that you're seeing uh, with our looks today. First, we're going to use the, the Moroccan oil line, and all we're going to do, what I want to do is show you how much product to use. This is the hydrating style cream. We're just going to use about two pumps, okay, and then we're going to use the Moroccan oil light. Okay, and two pumps for the amount of hair that my model Caitlin has here. Okay, it's very important how you distribute the product. So we're going to mix it very evenly. I like to put the product in between my fingers and then run my fingers through the hair like this. And if I need more, I take it off the palm of my hair hand and put it back in between my fingers and I run my hands through the hair like this. Product distribution is very important. This is how we get that salon look. You also want to make sure that the hair is not dripping wet. I towel dried beforehand and I just squeeze the hair with the towel without ruffling because you'll rough up the cuticle and the hair will be frizzy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power dry the hair so it's about 90% dry. Okay, so what we've done was we just, what we call just power dry throughout Caitlin's hair here. It's about 90%, maybe 90%, 95% dry. You don't really want to blow dry your hair from soaking wet because when the hair is really wet and you're pulling on it with a brush, it's at its weakest point. Uh, the elasticity is much greater, so it's able to stretch and break. So all we did was power dry through here. Uh, it took me maybe three to four minutes to do. Always important to blow the hair from here towards the ends. Uh, that's going with the cuticle, the way the cuticle lays. So, so when all blowing through, I was always aiming downwards. It doesn't matter if it's this way or this way, it's always the air flow towards the ends. The other thing what I've done here is Caitlin wears her part over here on the left side. So while I blew it mostly to the right because we want to get volume. So this is called over directing. I'll explain further why we're blow drying. But we're going to let it set on this, this part. And then once we're done, we're going to flip it over, giving us maximum lift. So real quick, right now we're going to section. It's very important to section. If it wasn't important to section, then we wouldn't do it. It's actually faster. This blow dry in a salon should take you about 25 minutes. Okay. Really important to have the hair up tight like this. If it's kind of bubbled right here and loose, once you come in here with your brush, you're gonna scoop and it's gonna get tangled. So it's really good to get this up real tight and out of the way. Our first section here, I like to use the nozzle. That way the air is concentrated just on that section. Airflow again towards the end. This is a tricky technique to do at home, and it really helps. Maybe your stylist can do it for you. We're just going to continue doing this throughout the whole blow dry. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about over directing. Over directing gives you more volume. Volume, it's like blow drying your hair upside down. So if you're blow drying and pulling the root more towards the ground this way, it's going to give you least volume. If you come up high, it's going to give you even more. And if I'm wearing this piece, this section towards me, if I over direct all the way over here, that's going to give me the most volume right there. This twisting technique that I'm doing is really helping creating a bend. 
while Caitlin's there. I'm twisting and then turning. We're just about finished here. I'm going to take my knobs off. Lower my settings. And go down to cool. Most of you have a cool button on your blow dryer. The cool button shuts down the cuticle layer, which is the outer layer of the hair, and it'll help lock it into place. Self-monitor by Matrix Total Results. This is a serum. Most product lines make a serum. You want to be really careful about how much that you apply. You only need a drop. This type of product you only want to use on the ends, right on the tips. Once again, in between my fingers, right on the tips, not here at the root. You'll take away all that volume we just created. If I need more product, I take it off my palms, put it in between my fingers, and I go like this. Okay, and then if you bend forward and upside down, add a little bit more down here. And then what's left on your hand, which is barely any, squeeze all the tips. Okay, flip up. Okay, thank you very much from Volume Hair Studio. For more tips, visit volumehairstudio.com. If you have any tips you would like us to share or teach you, let us know. Just leave it in a comment on our website or on YouTube. Thank you.